Thank you guys so much for coming. My name is instructor Ben James, but you can call me BJ for short. Welcome to Firearms 101. We put the fun in guns while being safe, courteous, and most importantly, budget friendly. Okay, uh, we, we are gonna use this as a teachable moment. This is great. Uh, I don't want you to be embarrassed. I know that you did not know, but guys, we never ever wanna shoot our guns in the classroom. We wanna save that for the gun range. Okay, okay, two more fantastic lessons. Number one, just because you remove the magazine does not necessarily mean that the gun is unloaded. And number two, we never, never wanna put our fingers inside the trigger guard until we are on a gun range and ready to fire. But that's okay, I love the enthusiasm. Okay guys, who was it? I'm not, I'm not mad, I'm not mad at you. I just, I need to know who desk popped. It's totally fine. Okay class, this is actually a perfect opportunity for us to learn how to apply a tourniquet to a leg. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. My name is Matt and why is there a ladder in the woods? I could go around it, but the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. We have a lot of cool, oh my gosh. Okay, that's not a problem. Ugh. A lot of cool stuff planned for you guys today. You're really gonna enjoy what we have here today. Check this out. We have a bunch of mirrors, and I've always kind of wondered, and you guys have been asking, Matt, how many mirrors will it take to stop a bullet? There's a lot of people say like, hey, you should not shoot and break mirrors. Breaking mirrors is bad. I don't know what they're talking about. Wow, black crow, holy cow, that's huge. <laughs> Shoot, get out of here, get out of here. Like all Demolition Ranch videos, we're gonna start off with a 22 long rifle out of this. This is a kel CP33, very cool, double stacked mag with those 22s in there. Let's see what happens here. Dang. Okay, first I was wrong, it's a quad stack. It's actually a double, double stacked mag. Uh, crazy, it shattered the five behind it, but only put one hole through this. I guess it was going so fast, it just put a hole. So it broke one, two, three, four, five, six, and did not touch the seventh, but these are gone. We're gonna reuse this one. I guess we're gonna have to up the caliber, boys. And girls, I didn't I didn't mean to exclude anyone. Uh, I'm worried we're gonna break everything. So we put three fragments back in. So the first unhit one starts on the seventh, but we've got four panels in front of it that I should get to. Oh shoot. Stepped right on that crack. Let's do a real man's caliber. A 90 millimeter out of this Glock 17L. Okay. Oh. Oh, the crow's back. Let's go check it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and we got some dust on the 17th. Okay, takes 17 mirrors to stop a nine millimeter. We've got bigger guns. What is that? Oh, a tails up penny. Nice. We're gonna up it to a 7.62 by 39 out of this AK. I'm just gonna shoot straight through here at the rest of our mirrors and see if we can break all of them at once. I'm gonna get on the rest though so I can do it really nicely. Oh wow, well, okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get on the rest right here. We didn't break them all. Obviously hit every one of them except the one that was not hit yet. So why? Let's shoot it again. Everybody's definitely gonna talk about all the glass I just breathed in. Oh. It 
you guys are always asking, Matt, how many mirrors does it take to stop a bullet? Like, are mirrors bulletproof? I get those comments all the time. Definitely not something we made up. It's something that you guys have wanted forever. And we aim to please here at Demolition Ranch. So now we know. Oh my God. Mirrors are not very bulletproof. Not at all. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Demolition Ranch. I love you! And I'll see you next time. Contact right! It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor.